Hey, what is up, guys? This is Joe King John City Points. Today, I'll be talking about the new free map Shoot House in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. If you guys have not played this map yet, make sure you check out the 24 7 playlist and try it out yourself. This map brought out the best of me, brought out the old school side of me. If you guys haven't seen my older gameplays, like in Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 3 or, you know, etc., the old gameplays, you guys should know. I was great at close quarters combat. I was great. I was one of the best in SMG. With an SMG, you know, running around in people's faces and all that stuff. And now, they brought out this map, and I'm using the SMG again. Because I've been using the assault rifles back to back on ground war. You know, it's been a little bit more sluggish over there. But when it comes down to this map, I'm rushing around like it never, like it never went away. Like, I'm just rushing out there. So it's crazy, bro. It's crazy how this map just brought out the best of me. So, um, like you guys can already tell what's my review going to be about this map. It's actually a good map. For the love of God, thank you. Thank you for bringing out such a close range combat map and also full of action. I miss this kind of style, man. What happened to Call of Duty? What happened to the standard maps of Call of Duty? They all suck. They're boring to watch. That's why I haven't been posting a lot of gameplays lately. Because even if I do good, like I get 38 and 10 or I get 50 and, you know, 15 or something. Even if I do good in the gameplay, they're boring to watch because most of my kills are not back to back. Or it's not constant action, so I have to like jump into the editing clip and just, you know, jump cut. I have to jump cut every freaking time because not most of my kill my, my kills are back to back. But watching this gameplay right now in the background, is just constant action. You gotta be on your toes, you gotta be watching every single corner, make sure no one's camping there and watching for the shotgun users, those losers who you know run around with shotguns, just watch out for them and you know, it's just constantly keeping me on my toes. And that's why I love this map. It's a good map for close range combat. Assault rifles, there's no love for them sometimes in this one. Sometimes for the M4A1 if you have it customized correctly. But like um Right now, I'm just working with an SMG. It's been quite a while, bro. I've been testing out the MP7 and this weapon, and it's been, you know, constant, constant close-range combat, you know, dominance. So, um, so yeah, man, it brought out the old-school side of me, and not a lot of people witnessed that side because it hasn't been a constant, you know, dominant SMG style like since I don't know, since like what Black Ops 2. Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, oh, man, it's been quite a while. So, um, it just brings me a lot of good memories of, you know, me playing Call of Duty, and, you know, this is what this map is doing to me. So, uh, so yeah, man, like, I thought I never had it. I thought I freaking lost it a long time ago, because I did show it a little bit of Black Ops 4, you know, a little bit of close-range combat with SMG, like, I was dominating a little bit, but then I switched out to the Swordfish, or to the, uh, to what was the other gun, the KN? I'll just switch out and, you know, use the Soul Rifles again. But this map, I mean, just allows me to use the SMG with like smoothness. You'll see it so many times, like right now in the gameplay. It's, it's just so dominant. So yeah, it brought out the old school side of me, and I can already tell you, you know, it's a great map. But what really sucks though, is that the only reason why the map might be good right now for everybody, is because it's, it's, the, it's the only good map. It's the only good map in the whole game. It really sucks to have that reputation right now, because, you know, all the regular default maps are not that good. They're really not. They're boring as hell. Piccadilly and Bridgeham Bridge, man, those are the most boring map ever. Bridgeham Bridge is a camping paradise, and Piccadilly doesn't have a flow on it. It has no flow. It's boring. So, um, those are my thoughts about those two freaking maps, man. I hate it. Every time they come in rotation on 6v6, I just freaking quit out and I just go back to ground war. It, those maps are boring. And I know what people are gonna say. Yo, we just gotta get good. You probably suck in them. It's boring because everybody freaking camps in the corner, bro. That ain't no fun. <laughs> this is just not fun. It's, to me, it's not fun. This is fun to me. This is the action that I needed in the freaking game. So, um, yeah, it's great to have this map, man. But the thing, also another thing that I did, that I did notice is actually a last minute put on map. Like, it's just, I believe they just created it on the last minute because people were so mad about the maps. They were like, oh, let's just make this map real quick and hopefully people are happy. And, you know, it did work, but... You can kind of notice how empty the outside part of the map is. There's like no decorations, but oh, you know it's okay. I guess it was, you know, like I said, it was a last-minute map. Um, so that's it, guys. That's all I want to talk about today. 
uh, my first best class setup might be the SMG that I'm holding right now in the background. I'm just dominating with it. And it's just constant speed, constant movement, constant hit fire action, you know, close range combat, getting up to people's faces. It's just so fun to use. So I'll let you know about this class, like maybe next week or so, when I get more testing to it, when I perfected the weapon. And uh, I'll teach you guys how to, you know, pretty much set it up and, you know, go wreck out there in the 24 7 playlist for shootouts. So that's my review about the game, about the map and the gameplay also. <laughs> But like uh, the map is good, I suggest to try it out and pretty much just it out yourself. So that is it guys, subscribe for more, if you want to see more Call of Duty content.